What's up guys, welcome to your Sweat Saturday. It's a partner workout, so text, call, DM, whatever you need to do. It's a fun one, but it's gonna be a go-getter one. It's not one of those where, it's, it's gonna be a good, good one, that's all I can say, all right? Partner A and B, the way this works out, partner A, you're gonna always control the tempo of the workout. Partner B, you're gonna get as many reps as you can until your partner get back. Whenever y'all complete four rounds, you'll go to the next movement. All right, movement number one that we're gonna talk about is the sled walk and the power cleans. So, sled walk, I don't have a tire here, but you know how typically we're doing sled pulls, shoulders pinch back, tight stomach, and we're just walking back with the tire. This one's gonna be different because we're not gonna put it underneath, right? And step forward with some tough weight, all right? So, a couple things. Some of my OGs has done this for years at a time. They'll put it on their shoulders. It's not the recommendation for me because if you've never done it, you never felt typically typically the rope <laughs> that can be going up and down on your shoulder so i recommend that you put it in your palms and kind of put it to the outside where your t-shirt is and keeping it inside where your thumb is but if you want to put it on the outside or on your shoulders it's up to you either or you're going to be doing a 200 feet not meters guys if you do meters you're going to be out there all day 200 feet so 100 feet down 100 feet back whenever you get back from your farmer carry not your farmer carry from your tire walk you would switch with your partner. Meanwhile, your partner would just be doing power cleans, all right? So the cool thing about this workout, you can go as heavy as you want because if you want to get maybe five to eight tough ones before your partner get back, I'm good with that. Or if you're more of a hit person, you want to get a whole bunch of reps, maybe 15 to 30, it's totally up to you, all right? But popping it off your hip, keeping that barbell near your body, getting your elbows underneath and standing tall. So between those two movements, whenever you complete four rounds, you then move to movement number two which is gonna be like the tire thing that you've done on a Thursday. This one's gonna be tire pull. Using that heavy weight, walking it back 100 feet down and then bringing it back 100 feet. Meanwhile, your partner will have dead left to a kick out. So you can increase from your power clean, but shoulders pinch back, tight stomach. You're gonna dead lift it from the ground. You're not gonna drop it. You're gonna control it, set it on its bumper plates, hands on the ground. You can either walk it out or you can jump it out, hips down. Doing that deadlift again, one, control down, kick out. All right, so you'll do that until your partner come back. With the weight, same thing. You can make this heavy where you only do five to seven reps, or you can make it light where you're getting over 15 reps. Totally up to you, but you have a total of four rounds. Whenever you get to that portion and you're going to the third and final round, movement number one is gonna be an overhead plate walk. Having that plate above your head, walking down until you get to the, uh, what is it, 100 meter mark? So 50 meter mark, 50 meters back. So it's gonna be a short walk. Meanwhile, your partner <laughs> is getting as many hand release push ups as possible. With your hand release push ups, just make sure you're controlling the whole time. It's gonna be tough because your body is exhausted at this time, but controlling that weight down, not just flopping. That's what I was talking about with your elbows tucked in. Take your hands off, <sighs> blowing out. Whether you use your knees or not, it's up to you, but you'll do this continuously to your partner get back. You have four rounds. Guys, tough workout. Um, coaches probably put 45 minute cap time. It's a Saturday. Let's enjoy it. Let's get after it. Let's get better. Hey, this week has been incredible. This whole segment has been incredible. The amount of DMs, people that I've been able to see at the gym, for those that were able to do a pull up for the first time, because after a workout you felt so good, you tried your first pull up and was able to do it. For those that feel like they gotten stronger and their body feels fresh, man, that means the world to me. So continue to just be great. Other than that, we have CO Strong after this week. So finish today strong, and I'll see y'all next week.